Hi, this is Christo Engström from Fandub. Now I will give you a quick introduction to uh, the QTCP plugin for Premiere Pro. QTCP is a DCP exporter, so you can directly from your sequence output a DCP. Okay, I will start to create a sequence and I've already made a preset, a DCP flat, and it has the dimension of 1998 by 1080. And the audio tracks, I'm going to choose a surround mix, a, a 5.1 surround mix, but I will do it in two ways. I will start to make the surround mix in um, Premiere Pro, so I choose multi channel and I will select six channels and I will add two more tracks. So I've got six channels. i uh, just rename all these tracks so we know what it is. Left V and left surround and right surround around. Okay, I've got all my six tracks. I selected multi-channel and yeah, click OK. Okay, first I need to import some footage. I have a ProRes 444 and I have my six uh, audio channels for each channel in this run mix. Like so. Uh, I begin to drag my uh, audit files into my sequence. Left, uh, right, center, sub, left surround, and right surround. Here is my six audio files. Uh, next I will go to my um, audio track mixer. It's already active. And I need to assign each track to its specific output. So I need my first track to go to output 1, my second track to output 2, a third to output three and etc. So uh, how to do that? Let's start with track one uh, and if I play it you can see it's outputting it to left and right channel. I need to assign it to output one Oops. So, okay there we go output one same goes for track two you can see output 2. Uh, on track 3 I need to assign it to 3 and 4. The same goes for that one. So I, uh, I pan this to left and I pan this one to right. So just solo and check. Yes, it's on number 3 and solo this one can see it's on 4. Okay, uh, let's assign 5 and 6. And pan to left and pan to right. And just make a check to track 5. And to track six, we've got all all six channels assigned to its specific output. Uh, okay, the next thing I need to do is to add my video file to the sequence. I don't need my stereo file, so I just need to unlink and delete that one. Okay. As you can see, 
this is uh, 25 frames per second uh, video file and my sequence is 24 so I need to reinterpret my video file interpret footage, modify interpret footage and I assume this frame rate is 24 and I need to just trim the output okay like that and this is all you have to do then the next step is to uh, go to file and export media Uh, go to format QTCP uh, the general tab uh, I need to create a proper content title so I will use my title helper to do that so I just type in GIFF and it is a trailer uh, there is no version of my trailer. Project aspect ratio is a flat 1998 by 1080. Uh, language audio and language subtitle. I don't want to fill them out. No. Uh, the audio type is a 5.1 surround mix and the resolution is 2K. Uh, I skip studio facility and 3D spec. Package type is original version. Okay. This is my content title. You can uh, make some annotation if you like to. I s will skip that. And my category is a trailer. And my packing format is interop. In the video tab, well, enable XYZ color space conversion. I will need to enable it. So it's on, and I go for the full bitrate for my compression. And in the audio tab, uh, need to select a 5.1 surround mix, and the channel order is you have two options here. I will show you how to use both of them. Uh, we stacked our audio files in this order: left, right, center, LFE, LS, and RS. If you are using a 5.1 surround mix from Audition, for example, uh, it's packed in a different order, so you need to use this one. I stick to this one. We don't have any subtitles. We are ready to go, so I will queue it up to Avid Media Encoder. It's queued up and ready to go. Okay, I will make a new sequence. And uh, it's the same, it's a flat 2K flat, 1998 by 1080 and 24 frames per second. And my tracks on this one, I will use uh, just delete all these tracks. Yes. And this one is a 5.1 surround mix, and my master is a 5.1. Okay, I will start to just add my video file. Uh, it is complaining because uh, the video file I am uh, dropping onto my timeline has is an HD file, 1920 by 1080, and my um, sequence is 1998. So I will pad with black on on the sides, as you can see, and I need to delete my audio file. Okay, I would, will jump over to Audition to create a 5.1 surround mix. So I got all my six files and also create a new multi track session. Uh, just name it. And it's 48 kilohertz and 24 bits, and f uh, the master is a 5.1. That's okay. It exists over right, yes. All right, I will drag them into my timeline. Oops, 
center LFE LS and RS. Okay, let's start with left channel. This one, left channel. So I need to assign uh, this track to left. So I will go to the track panel and drag it into the left box. So solo, solo and check. You can see it on my levels meter. It's it's outputting into uh, on this track. That's fine. Go to uh, track two. This is my right. Do the same thing. Yes. And the third one is center. Just drop it in. Solo and check. Yes. Uh, track four is my sub. So I need to press the LFE only and uh, adjust my LFE slider to 100%. And it is not outputting right uh, because this one is soloed. This one I need to solo. Okay, this is track 4. Let's go to track 5, which is my left surround. And solo this one for check. Yep. And the last one <coughs> is my right surround. Wrong channel. So, right channel is soloed. Cool. This is all we need to do. All channels are assigned to its specific output. Uh, so, I will just export my multi-track mix down entire session and it's called it is a wave and it's 48 kilohertz uh, 5.1 24 bit uh, it's fine I don't need to include any markers so press mix down and we are done Jump over to Premiere and import um, our mix down and drop it in. Yes, you can see that. Uh, let's zoom in. I'm using my scroll wheel and zoom into uh, my audio files. Let's make it bigger. As you can see, in here we have uh, a different uh, channel order, left, right, left surround, right surround, center and LFE. So when we are going to make an uh, export from this timeline, we are using QTCP. Uh, I will just create a new uh, title for it, trailer. Uh, flat, just make it version 1. Language audio territory rating audio type is 5.1, resolution is 2K, original version. And I forgot something on, on my last export. I will use this uh, name, copy, as my output name. the same it's I don't need to change anything here uh, on the video I don't need to change anything and here uh, the 5.1 is selected and I need to select this channel order it as you can see uh, it is left right left around right around center as we got on the timeline left right left around right around Okay, let's queue that one up as well. This is it. Uh, I need to make 
just one thing here. I need to go to my general tab and I will copy this one. Cancel. And I will use that as my output name. All right. This is it. I just press render and be happy. Bye bye.